All right, everyone, how are you staying? Welcome. Now, West Ham, after the international break, you're thinking Newcastle have got wins against Chelsea, got wins against Arsenal, Nottingham Forest, three sides that are in red-hot form. And Newcastle have come away, putting Chelsea up the cup and getting six points from the latter from Arsenal and Forest. Now, as I head up to the ground, I was, think I was feeling so confident, like many other fans, that Newcastle would go on and put a performance and ship a few goals and obviously Newcastle have been struggling to score goals but the team you would love to play against is a side that's indifferent in West Ham so you can't really ask for anything more and obviously Newcastle playing on a Monday night everyone's playing on the weekend it's been a long international break the lads have obviously jetted out to Saudi Arabia came back after some warm weather and obviously Newcastle the last few days have been gripped with snow and freezing temperatures. Thankfully the last 48 hours or so the temperatures have gone back to normal. But what will warm up Newcastle if we can get away with getting three points. However, that was a different story on Monday night. Loads of fans start to make all the way in. This has been recorded about 45 minutes before kickoff. I've um, already got myself inside. Got some lovely wedges I have to say. They were beautiful. Mm, the food at St. George's Park has definitely got better. And a nice little Isaac sign across there, which we'll come back to shortly. The lads are on the field now. Let's have a little look at Newcastle's lineup. Now, obviously, the big call was Callum Wilson is back and he's on the bench alongside Kieran Trippier, who's had his little bit of injury problems since the summer. But again, it's what we crave as options off the bench because, as I say, Newcastle aren't scoring goals. If we can keep Callum Wilson fit, It'll give Eddie Howe a lot more options from the bench. And there's only one force change because Dan Byrne is suspended and Lloyd Kelly came in. What we'll do now for a little bit is listen to the stadium noise, of course, highlighting War Flag's fantastic display for Alexander Izak. Sadly, Newcastle went behind through Thomas Shusek from a corner. He heads in. Don't know how he scored, but he did. West Ham went 1-0 up. And I was just scratching my head thinking because in the first half, Newcastle were well in it. But half-time came. A lot of fans went down for a cuppa, a beverage, something to eat. Warm up, perhaps. Came back out, right, you're thinking Eddie Howe's going to bollocks them. They're going to come out in the second half a much better side. But they didn't. Newcastle, I think, got worse. West Ham went 2-0 up and Aaron Basaka had all the time in the world to fire West Ham 2-0 up. And it felt like the foot was off the gas a little bit of Newcastle. It was just lacklustre. There were some changes made. Likes of Trippier and Wilson came on. And Tonali and a few other changes. Harvey Barnes was off time. But it just it just didn't work for Newcastle. And it was a surprise defeat. I think West Ham fans all thought that they were going to get a bit of a hiding. And credit to the Hammers, so many of them thousands came up from, from London. We've done that journey many a times. We do it six or seven times a season. We've got to go to London. Some of them are evening games, so we know exactly how it feels. We travel the most, more than any other fans, by quite some distance. I mean, our nearest club is the Manchester clubs, that tells you. But as the fans head out the ground, walking down the steps, the thoughts will be, how did we lose that? Where did it go wrong? Why aren't we scoring goals? We've still, even after today's result, still got the third best defence in the league. Only three teams have scored less than us. There's the problem. We're not scoring enough, and obviously that'll be the debate at work, offices tomorrow. What can change? You know, January transfer window's on the horizon. It's only four or five weeks away. Can we get someone in early? Perhaps a right winger to create, but... There you go, everyone. There's the vlog. I hope you like it. Something a little bit different here. Take care. Ta-da. Bye.